While Ukrainian forces continue to march in place on the front lines in an attempt to justify Kiev's large PR campaign called the counteroffensive, attempts to hit at least some targets in the Russian rear, whether military or civilian, continue with increased zeal. Retaliatory precise strikes on Ukrainian infrastructure do not stop as well. After failed attempts to attack Russian ships in the Black Sea and having lost numerous drones produced by NATO countries, the Ukrainian military decided to change tactics and attack civilian installations. However, this turned into another failure, and NATO reconnaissance in the area did not help. On the night of August 22nd, the crew of a Russian Su-30 aircraft of the Black Sea Fleet destroyed a Ukrainian reconnaissance boat near Russian gas production facilities in the Black Sea. Meanwhile, attacks by Ukrainian UAVs on the territory of Russia continue. Last night, two drones were intercepted in the Moscow region. Two more UAVs were detected by air defenses and suppressed by electronic warfare means in the Bryansk region. Two more Ukrainian drones that targeted Crimea were suppressed and crashed in the Black Sea northwest of the peninsula. On August 21st, Kiev attempted similar attacks. Two drones were intercepted in the Moscow region. The Belgorod region was also subjected to a massive raid by Ukrainian UAVs. One of the drones dropped shells on a village. All other devices were destroyed by air defense forces. Meanwhile, saboteurs coordinated by Kiev are trying to attack Russian military airfields. On August 21st, a civilian drone with explosives was shot down over the Shaikovka Air Base in the Kaluga region. On August 19th, the Russian Sultsy military airfield in the Novgorod region was also attacked by a civilian drone. It was shot down with small arms. However, according to unofficial reports, as a result of the attack, fire destroyed a Russian Tu-22M3 supersonic bomber. While Ukrainian UAVs are mostly intercepted by Russian forces, Russian precision strikes are constantly destroying their targets throughout Ukraine. Last night, Ukrainian authorities confirmed damage to energy infrastructure facilities in the city of Krividi as a result of a Russian missile strike. At the same time, Russian UAVs struck targets in the Sinilinikov region of the Dnipropetrovsk Oblast. Two Russian missile strikes and drone attacks were confirmed by Ukrainian officials in the city of Zaprosia. It seems that the Kiev regime is preparing for a large attack on Russian territory dedicated to the Independence Day of Ukraine on August 24th. Trained by its Western patrons to fight in the media but not on the battlefields, Kiev will not lose its chance to celebrate this holiday with a terrorist attack to declare at least some victories in the mainstream media.